we are isolating the patients to contain the spread of the disease. So for me as a psychologist, mostly what I've been dealing with is their loneliness. It's uh, it's quite frightening for them to uh, to be isolated like that. And, and they also, uh, all the medical staff are in protective equipment. So they see all these people coming in in what looks like spacesuits. I knew that for me, the hardest thing would be dealing with the emotional reactions and delivering a lot of death messages. So it's been, it's been, um, it's been heartbreaking, but I have felt safe and I've felt good while I've been working. It's very discouraging to work with a disease that doesn't have any curative treatment. So for health professionals, normally what what we're passionate about is, is helping people. We want to see effects of our work, whereas uh, in, in Ebola, the mortality rate is between 50 and 90 percent. So it means that most of the cases we're seeing are people who are who are going to be dying. Sometimes, if if a child's uh, status and a patient a parent's status is different, then we have to separate children and and their parents. Uh, and it's very it's heartbreaking. Um, and it can be very difficult as well for us as, as medical professionals to start caring for a child that's never met us before. And, and then they're introduced to these people in spacesuits. So um, it's, um, it's an enormous human cost uh, of the virus and, and it's tearing families apart. And that's for me, it's been absolutely the hardest part of my, my job is to deal with this. At this point, we see more and more that the locals are coming around and they want to do everything they can to stay healthy and to protect themselves against the disease as well. So right now we're seeing a big change and, and I'm really hoping that this will help us contain the spread of the disease. It's a very joyful moment when someone emerges and, and they've survived. For, for for the staff and for the national staff as well, we we have big celebration where uh, we like the hospital staff. They start dancing and singing. They take pictures of the survivors, and uh, it's uh, it's a very joyful moment when someone emerges and and they've survived.